God. So, Father, I thank you and I praise you. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you for clarity of thought, clear articulation of speech. Bless each one on the live. Those who will catch the replay. We thank you, Lord God, for strength, for renewed strength, Lord God. Use me uh, to be a source of encouragement to those that are watching and those that will catch it after. Father, you are faithful. I thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Renewed strength is our title. Um, and many, yeah, see, I think you're the one without the picture. You might be the second one that I'm seeing. So that's why I said you're here. I think I called you first, babe. <laughs> so I'm coming from Renewed Strength and I had a topic uh, prepared for this week. But when I read the Daily Bread, our Daily Bread, many of you may be familiar with it. Um, I know I grew up reading it uh, you know my mom would order several or pick up several i think from miss armstrong's uh, you know pharmacy and hand them out all over the place so um, of course with technology now i read it online but when i read yesterday's daily bread from july 5th i said this is needed because i need it and i'm sure each and every one of us need it if not now we about to need it right so pretty much today's periscope broadcast is renewed strength and it's encouraging us um this first scripture comes from psalms 103 1 to 5 and i will read it in the nlt version it says let all that i am praise the lord with my whole heart i will praise his holy name let all that i am praise the lord May I never forget the good things he does for me. What are those good things? He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. We all need forgiveness and we all can use healing at some time or the other. Verse 4 says, he redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. In verse 5, he fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. Um, and of course, we're going to end with a different scripture, which many of you probably know. But, you know, right now my youth can be renewed. <laughs> I can be restored. I can be refreshed because life can wear you out. And pretty much just reiterating the devotional. If you read it yesterday, um, you know, just humor me <laughs> and, you know, listen, if you pull it up on your device, but you may have to log off, but, um, you know, just listen on in. Hey, Claudia, welcome. And the author of this particular devotional from yesterday's Our Daily Bread is Sheridan Boise. So he's writing and he writes that, psych that psychiatrist Robert Coles once noticed a pattern in those who burn out while serving others. Anyone can raise their hand, uh, you know, you may have a tinge of maybe not burnout or you don't want to call it that because you're serving and, you know, which is a good thing, is a great thing, you know, to be serving, serving people, serving in the, the house of the Lord. But sometimes you can just get a bit overwhelmed, right? Especially when you have other things going on. And he says that the first warning sign is weariness, weariness. Next comes cynicism about things ever improving. It's not going to get better. Have any of you heard, oh, I'm not going to vote because it's not going to make a difference. I'm not going to go out there. It's not going to make a difference. I'm not going to say anything because they're not going to change, right? So we can become cynical. Uh, then comes bitterness. And none of us wants to get to the part, uh, the point of bitterness in our life about what happens to us or to others around us um, or our community despair depression and finally burnout this is what uh sheridan is saying you know psychiatrists uh, talked about this is the author of the daily bread saying after writing a book and i went to his website before logging on and he wrote about seven or eight books after writing a book about recovering from broken dreams Yes, we can recover. I once entered a busy season of conference speaking, 
helping people find hope after disappointment was richly rewarding, but came at a cost. One day, about to step on stage, I thought I was going to faint. I hadn't slept well, a vacation hadn't fixed my weariness, and the thought of hearing another person's problems afterward filled me with dread. I was following Cole's pattern. He was following the, the pattern of what the psychiatrist described. How many of you can relate? Uh, may not be to this point, but we, and I'm going to talk about myself, we can become overwhelmed, especially when we're passionate about helping people and encouraging people. We can become overwhelmed. That's why we can't do it in our own strength, in our own selves. We have to look to the Lord. So our daily break goes on to say scripture gives two strategies for beating burnout. In Isaiah 40, the weary soul is renewed when it hopes in the Lord. And that's 29 to 31. We're going to read the full scripture after. I needed, the author is saying, I needed to rest in God, trusting him to work rather than pushing on in my own dwindling strength. Let us look for renewed strength today, tonight. We're in the second half of 2020. We're in a new month and that is the first Monday of July and we are in the third quarter, right? So this is where we need to, you know, catch ourselves so that we can, you know, pull it out. I didn't run track, but so that we can, you know, uh, you know, they say save some, you know, for the last lap, for the last leg, whatever it is, you know, that's the case. So in this third quarter, uh, this is a good time to, you know, rest to the point of being renewed and, you know, evaluation. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about, you know, um, you know, looking to the Lord and, you know, trusting him. We pretty much, you know, sprinkle that in here and there, you know, throughout because we want to uh, please the Lord. We want to trust the Lord with all our heart, right, and everything that we do. So I needed the, to rest in God, trust in him to work rather than pushing on in my own dwindling strength. Because how many of you, oh, no, I don't need any sleep. I don't need any rest. Yes, your body will take the rest when it gets to the point where it has had enough, right? And I'm sure we all can relate. We may sit down next to you know, we're sleeping for an hour, hour and a half, two hours. It's like, where does the time go? Because our body knows what we need. And Psalms 103, the scripture that I read in the beginning, says God renews us by satisfying our desires with good things. While this includes forgiveness and redemption, as we talked about, he forgives and redeems us, verse 3 and 4, provisions of joy and play come from the Lord as well. That's my paraphrase. It says from him too. The author says when he reworked his schedule to include more prayer, rest, and hobbies like photography, he began to feel healthy again. So homework for tonight, evaluate. Are there things you need to change? Um, God is the only one that's all powerful. Uh, we are human. We are in the flesh. Uh, are there things that we need to let go, that we need to release, that we need to stop doing or pause? Are there people we need to release for this season? May not be forever, but for this season. Some you can't, you know, so you can't just, oh, can we give it to them, them, them? No, some you cannot, right? But look at the relationships and the connections that we have. If there's any that are draining, uh, that's not reciprocating, uh, refreshment, they may need to go. Some of you may not have that option, right? So uh, as we evaluate, we look to the Lord, what do I need to do? Um, last night, I think yesterday uh, evening, I headed upstairs to, you know, wind down for the night fairly early, like 7, 7.30. But I went through my Facebook friends list and everyone that had de deactivated their account, I was like, oh, okay, well, I don't need you taking up a number in my list. Well, if you deactivate it, then, you know, when they come back, you won't see. Well, if we're to reconnect sometime down the future and they come back, so be it. There's only one person that I didn't delete. Uh, you know, that's my cousin because he already made an announcement that I'll be back. 
<laughs> I don't know who we back at some point, right? So I did not let him go, but everyone else is released. So sometimes it's as simple as that. Uh, maybe social media. Oh, okay, let me, you know, like this page. I went to the pages that I liked. Or, no, I went to the groups that I belong to. Oh, come join this group. Okay, fine, somebody invite you. I'm going to join this group. And I, you know, left several of the groups. It's like, okay, this group has not had a post in three years. Maybe it's not active. Okay, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? So we can evaluate every area of our lives that even though, uh, you know, we may think that it's not making an impact, the fact that they're there. Oh my goodness, I have 1,200 friends. Oh my goodness. But then when you look, 15 or so of them, they've deactivated. They're gone. Okay, next time, next time, if there's to be a next time. Right? So we want to look at ways. So as the author said, he included more prayer. Uh, rest, rest is key. Rest is important. I'm hitting the bed by 10. <laughs> if I lay my head down by 10 or 5, I am probably gone, right? Because I'm up early, 4, 4.30 in the morning. So rest is important. And then hobbies. What do you like to do um, or have done that you haven't done in a long time? Uh, maybe you need to make time for that. Um, pray and ask God for resources, for support. Uh, being home these past couple of weeks, you know, with my parents, just seeing, you know, my dad and I'm like, okay, Lord, he needs help. <laughs> you know, um, he's retired command sergeant major, drill sergeant, and, you know, been working since he was 12 or 14. And, you know, it's in him. And I'm like, there you, I can help you, you know. But, you know, ask God to show you what you need who you need and send that help for refreshment, um, you know, in our lives. Burnout begins with weariness. So if you're mentally weary right now, where it's like, you know what, I'm done. Then you see the steps that he talked about uh, in getting to the point of burnout. You don't want to get there. So let's see how we can, you know, bring it back. Um, burnout, weariness, cynicism bitterness, despair, depression, and finally burnout. And in this particular season, we say it because it's a reality with what has been thrown on us with the coronavirus, that ungodly crown, COVID-19, it has impacted all of us. And if not directly physically, just the everything that's going on around us has bombarded our mind. That's why I seldom watch news and may get a sprinkle here, a sprinkle there. Okay, good, you know, enough. But not taking it on, right? Just casting every care upon the Lord, knowing that he cares for us. So burnout begins with weariness. With, with weariness. Let's stop it from going further. We serve others best when we live our lives, when our lives, excuse me, include both worship and rest. I mean, right now, you know, with what has happened, the Lord shut everything down. Some churches have resumed, but some numbers have to be reduced again. But it's like, you know, sometimes we, you know, can go to the church building and we're serving, 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 and we're at church, but we're not in church because not, we're not receiving, right? So this is an opportunity to worship, worship in our, you know, quiet time, you know, in our home, uh, you know, besides when we tune in to see you know, the particular service hour, if you will, find time to worship that, 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 that uh, worship song, um, and just, you know, allow the Lord, the Holy Spirit to refresh, right? So this is what we're going to do our homework, worship and rest, evaluate what needs to go, right? So that our strength can be renewed. The question that our daily bread asks, and I'm not really a question asker because I, I, it's just that me, but I'm going to read it since I pasted it on here. What burdens do you need to offload to God right now? Right? Not putting on somebody else, but say, hey, God, I give up. I can't do this anymore. I need your help. Right? And he's just waiting. He's just waiting. So, okay, you, you want to carry it? I'm going to let you carry it. But he's waiting. So what burdens, what challenges, what uh, mental thoughts that you need to offload? It's like, here, you know, it's done. I'm moving on. How are you renewing your strength through prayer, scripture, and healthy play, right? All of that is important. So in terms of scripture, 
it builds us up. What is the word that you need to hold on to for the current situation, right? The prayers. Um, prayer changes things. I, I had just jumped on Facebook real quick and had been praying a Facebook friend uh, that I know had had been asking for prayer for a friend of hers who also go they go to the same church in South Carolina who has the diagnosis of uh, COVID and just saw that she came home today. She was actually in the hospital on a ventilator for her birthday, which is a couple days ago last week. And I was like, praise God, continue to pray. So when we pray and we pray in faith, believing, praying the word and God answers, that's encouragement for us. So I was like, God, I thank you. You wanted me to see that at this time, you know, because it might've gone down to my feet, but that's encouragement to continue to pray because God hears and answers prayer, especially when we pray the word because God watches over his word to perform it and it will not return to him void, right? And then healthy play. What do you need to do, right? What can you do? I am on the other side of 50 and have not been on a bike since middle school. And I said, once I got to 50 and once I had got down to a certain weight, which thanks to going home, I, I'm up 15 pounds, but I enjoyed every treat <laughs> that I shared social on social media with all of you. Um, I'm going to get back on a bike, right? Because I'm going to conquer the fear of not riding a bike. So that will be healthy play when I think it's time, when my body says, okay, you're ready, but I will do that and prayerfully in 2020. So look at what you can include. The closing scripture, Isaiah 40, 29 to 31. We referenced it, right? Verse 29. He gives power to the faint and weary. And to him who has no might, he increases strength. This is Amplified Classic. Causing it to multiply and making it to abound. Even youths shall faint and be weary. And selected young men shall feebly stumble and fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord, those who expect, look for, and hope in him shall change and renew their strength and power. They shall lift their wings and mount up close to God as eagles. Mount up to the sun. They shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint or become tired. Just flying back last week and, you know, hitting the ground running, going to work and just going and going and being 111, 112 degrees today, you know, it's like, okay, I'm drained. But guess what? Just reading this scripture, I'm like, God, I thank you. He gives power to the faint and weary. So how do we turn this scripture into a prayer? God, I thank you. Hallelujah for your power. I thank you for your strength. I thank you for increasing my might. I thank you, Lord God, that uh, even though I may be feeble, or I may fall exhausted, that you, Lord God, will energize me. You will renew me, right? And as you're praying and you're, you know, decreeing, declaring, um, faith comes by hearing. So we're going to believe that we receive, right? And that turns around. So as I'm over my time right now, I'm going to close out. But... Think about how can you, what can you do to receive renewed strength, to get renewed strength? There are some things that we can do. Yes, God is the uh, our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. But there are some things that we can do and that we need to do. Hi, Pastor Linda. There are some things that we need to do to get our strength renewed, release some people, release some places, release some assignments, those that we can and those that we cannot release, God, you help me. You provide the resources. And uh, having been home, uh, I based on a conversation that you know my dad shared with us, I started praying a prayer the next day. I'm like, okay, God, in your time, and this is gonna come to pass because this is a need, right? So I'm trusting God to manifest the answers to that prayer in the time of need. So 
Father, I come in the name of Jesus and I give you praise, honor, and the glory. I thank you for each one that's watching the live. I thank you for those who will watch the replay. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over them, over their minds, over their bodies, over their emotions, over their family members. And I speak strength into them, into us this day. I thank you, Lord God, for this devotional, Lord God, that popped up yesterday, Lord God, that's timely for all of us in this season. I thank you, Lord God, that we will not uh, be in despair, depressed, or burn out, Lord God. We will not uh, be bitter. We will not be wary for we will trust you. We will look to you. We'll be led by you to release people, places, and things, Father God, that do not contribute, uh, Father, to the assignment that you have for us, that the not contribute to our lives, Lord God, that we, Lord God, will look to you, Father God, for strength and for direction, Lord God, in what engagements to take and who to say no to and what to say no to, Lord God. And as you may use us, Father God, to be a, a vessel, Lord God, to help and encourage us, Lord God, we will point them to you, Lord God, for we cannot do this in our own strength, but we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So I thank you, Lord God, for refreshing. I thank you for restoration, Lord God, that we will be victorious in this month, uh, this month of completion. So show us what we need to complete, what we need to end, Lord God. Show us how to trust you for uh, the help, for the aid that we need and the things that uh, we have desires to do, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We will avo avoid burnout. We will avoid sickness. We will avo avoid disease, Lord God, as we stand in you, as we trust in you, as we pray, as we rest, as we enjoy the hobbies, uh, uh, that we need to do so that we can feel healthy again and whole in every area of our lives. So we decree and declare renewed strength over our lives, strength in our minds, Father God, strength in our emotions. Father, I give you praise, give you honor and glory, Lord God. And to that one who logs on and have no idea what we're talking about, uh, we're talking about uh, relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and trusting him, one for your soul, uh, admitting that you're a sinner, receiving Jesus as uh, your savior and trusting him to help you walk this walk because he is faithful. So Father, I thank you. I bless you. I praise you, Lord God. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, I pray and with thanksgiving, hallelujah and amen. Thank you for that super heart. Uh, whoever shared that, I appreciate that. Thank you for your love, your time. Uh, this is another Monday night of encouragement, inspiration. Be renewed. God don't want us weary rest. Uh, you, let's use wisdom. Let's use discernment. Yes, let's use, uh, you know, discretion in terms of what we need to do and, you know, what we can let go. All right. I thank you. I appreciate you. If you uh, came on late, feel free to catch the replay. Thank you for letting me go over my time by about five minutes. <laughs> I don't take y'all time for granted at all. Uh, God bless you until the next week. Uh, you remain in my prayers. Prayer is Sunday evenings at 5.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Every uh, Sunday we are praying. We are praying for your prayer requests, your prayer concerns. Um, God is faithful and we're going to see him move in this season. So be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Love you and appreciate you all. Good night. God bless. Until the next time. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.